Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> I thought I'd use this opportunity to tell you my thoughts on the Ducati Monster 1200S because we've been riding around for two days now. I'm on the road with 1000 PS, the motorcycle magazine. If you don't know it, check it out. The link is below. It's in German. So for the ones who want to hear me talk German, <laughs> just watch those videos and stay tuned when it comes out. Right. So Ducati has been building the Monster for over 27 years and of course it has developed over time. They have it in different sizes. The current lineup includes the 797, the 821 and the 1200. And here behind me is the even fancier version of the 1200, the 1200S. And there's nothing technical new about the bike for this year, but it comes now in black and black which I love because yeah, black is just my color. I know it's not a real color, but yeah. So it is the gloss black and matte black combination, which I think looks really beautiful, badass and nice. And it also has some red accents in it, monster here. And also in the three Y rims, one of the Ys is red as well. Looks dope, what do you think? And then also what we have here is Erlene's suspension, fully adjustable front and the back. We have day running LED, some carbon in the front. We have a um, color TFT dashboard where you can also adjust the different riding modes. Right now I'm in sport, but you can put it in touring or urban. Urban takes out some power. I don't know if I mentioned it before. This bike has 147 horsepower and 124 newton meters torque. Yeah, here it shows you ABS, um, traction control, Ducati wheelie control. So this bike really has a lot of, a lot of electronic helpers, which I think is great also for everyday life to just give you some security but also depending on your riding style you can adjust it the way you want it what i really love about this bike too is that you can easily adjust the seat height so there's two different settings the 795 millimeters or the 820 so depending on how tall you are or if you take it out for a longer tour or you need to maneuver it more so you want to have the feet better on the ground then you can put it on a low mode and it's really easy to do i tried it out <laughs> we've been riding around for two days now here and i really have to say it's a great bike for so many different riders because you can ride it aggressively very sporty on the country roads on the open roads you can also use it for your everyday life because it handles so well so you can do very tight turns you have all the electronics that help you in situations let's say it rains or whatever then i might put it on urban mode just so i have more traction control and a smoother throttle and i just really felt so comfortable on it it's it's a seating position that is active but it can also have a relaxed ride if you want that so it has a big big target group of people and it's just a wonderful beautiful bike and it combines in my opinion perfectly the the roots of this design with modern electronics which makes it also safer i think ducati did a great job on that what i didn't like too much was the way the quick shifter worked I rode bikes before that had a smoother quick shifter. I heard that this is a common V2 problem. I hope Ducati will find a solution for that in the future. But other than that, it's, it's 
fun, try it out. <laughs> Have you written one before? Leave me a comment, leave a thumbs up, um, subscribe and you know, ride safe, take care and I see you next time. <laughs> bye bye.